Hey everyone, I'm Stephen Dube 1967 and we are in The Infected. And today, today I thought I would test out some ideas I have for Vambi defenses. And one of them is going to involve the wooden foundation. And I need to build this out and see how this works. So we all know that the Vambies are capable of getting up on our foundations. There was a time when they couldn't. There was a time when we were able to use a, found, a wooden foundational element to stop the Vambies from getting us. Not only that, but it would also kind of stop the predators from getting up at us. So now I want to try something a little bit different. Let's see, we can leave. Yeah, let's just do this. So I'm going to grab a wooden foundation. I like lining it up. Alright, we can walk up there. Okay, we walk back a little bit. Yeah, we raise it up. How high can we go? Okay, that's pretty high. That's about as high as this is. Yeah, that's that's hella high. All right, so I don't think a Vambi is going to be able to reach us up here. I don't. I mean, I don't think a Vambi can walk up on top of that. So my kind of thoughts are like, with now that I have Blood Moons enabled. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. five six that maybe what I can do is I might be able to use our standard wooden foundation like a wall you know and if we did this as concrete this would be something else you know I think all right so let's go here It's kind. It's a bit of a jump. Let me go a little bit closer. All right, so we can get up here. So one of my thoughts is. Okay, so with with the uh, fences in the game, you know that when there's either a Vambi or a Predator or maybe a Vambi swarm that's happening, you have to run out to your fences, your gate. You have to go and fight the Vambies. And you have to either try to shoot them through the openings in the fence with your bow and arrow or poke them with your spear. And anyone who's done this long enough knows that's, you know, that's how annoying because one, you shoot them with the bow and arrow, they may end up just, you know, your bow, your arrows may hit the fence. Or if they do get through and they hit the Vambi, well, the way that the crossbars on the fence are set up is you can't get a clear headshot because the, the Vambi's head is right where the top crossbar is. So you can't one shot the Vambi's. You have to shoot them multiple times with the bow and arrow. And it's kind of the same thing with the predators. It's just, it's really difficult to take care of them through the fence. And that even includes like using the spear. Because with the spear, if you get too close to the fence, they kind of bob and weave. Okay. Gotta. Hold on a sec. Hold on. There you go. So I know there's a little weird, odd, I don't know if a bug or something, the way the game works. If unlike foundational element, ceiling, any building element, if you can get up to the edge, the Vambies will stop attacking. So we got this guy here. You saw that he couldn't get up on the foundation, but he certainly could come and attack it. So I can kind of kill him from here. Because he's motionless to not doing anything. But let's just say I do this. He's attacking. And now I can defend myself. 
he can't get up here. All he can do is take swings at our foundation in frustration, which is good news. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it so that we can't get attacked. So I think I think that Vambi just randomly spawned in that spot. Every once in a while, Vambi will just spawn in my base for whatever reasons. <laughs> And, you know, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let me get this bow and arrow. I, it's so big, I just want to get it out of my sight. There. There. Now I'm hands-free. We can look at all the pretty stuff. All the pretty stuff. Until vambies and, and bears and wolves and the cute little foxes that want hugs and kisses come through. So, my thought, again, going back to the fences, is... Fighting at the fence is such a pain. And when you have a blood moon with, you know, a dozen or so vambies crawling and attacking your fences, well, you're not going to be able to get them all down I, I, before they probably destroy at least one section of your fence, if not your gates. And you can kite them. You can move along the fence and try to pull the vambies back and forth so they're attacking doing damage to different parts of the fence different sections of the fence but never never allowing them to focus one area because that's where you're going to get in trouble that's where you're going to have a problem when you have you know a dozen or so vambies during a blood moon at your fence is if they're all at one spot they're probably going to destroy it before you destroy them because trying to attack them through the fence is a huge hassle it's 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 a real trial to take them down so what I thought is we can take the one foundation and we can build it like this in a way in which the vambies can't get us we're high enough the vambies can't get up here now I know that the developer talked about the vambi AI in the future uh, a decision that he is going to make it so vambies can like jump on us and fight us where we're not going to be able to like shoot them from a distance they'll be like on our backs or on our fronts oh my god that's even worse on my back is bad enough but being on my front is just terrible <laughs> um but it would be maybe prudent to take these these fences and, and thanks to all you guys who keep repeating about how I can move the fences. Okay, I was, I was being stupid. I didn't, I kind of, you know, glossed over the fact that we can move our fences. You know, I can't move the gate. The gate totally cannot be moved. It's fixed in place. That's unfortunate. But we can move these fences one section at a time if we want to relay out our, you know, our fencing in our bases, our compounds. So what I want to do, let me see, it's kind of, okay, it's not that late, is I want to test a Vambi Knight up here. And tonight is going to be a Vambi Knight. I already know that because I, I got on, I tested it to see what would happen tonight. And tonight is totally, tonight's the night. Tonight's the night the Vambies are going to come and we're going to go out there and meet them. On top of our foundation, on top of that wooden foundation, just to kind of see what it's like. And as I said, if you get to the foundation at the right angle, the vambies kind of freeze. But if you're not careful enough, the vambies will knock you off, and then you're in a you're in a world of pain. You will be in a serious world of pain when they do that. All right, so let's grab this. This is going with us. Go down here. Let's see. I'm going to put it right there. Close the door. As always, always close the door. Don't. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. We've got to open this back up. Can't place the bed. Okay. No Vambies. Okay, just making sure no Vambies showed up while we were walking in our base. So I'm going to take my bed. This is this is my spawn point. This is my bed. I have another bed over at my at my bridge, but Alright. Oops. Okay. 
All right, put that there so we can sleep tonight and see what happens when the, when the swarm begins. All right, we'll close that up. Now I remember I got to do some repairs. Some of my uh, some of my fencing and everything is damaged. It des definitely needs to be repaired. So kind of my way of thinking is that we'd be able to um, we'd be able to use this kind of as I, I'm not sure what it is. It would just be kind of just a wall, just a regular kind of like a castle wall. Now chill out, chill out, chill, 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 chill out. So you can kind of use this like a castle wall. Is it is it called a parapet? 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 <laughs> whatever we just use this as you know you just fill this in with concrete and it becomes this huge solid structure i would i would assume that it would probably fill the concrete all the way in i mean the only way to find out is to make a batch of concrete and see what happens now what i'm doing here comes with a lot of risk because as i said if you do this wrong this guy's gonna knock me off and then i'm gonna have to fight him hand in hand on the ground so let's just get rid of them. All right. And where's my arrow? All right. Give me my, give me my arrow. All right. Thank you. Oh, oops. Oopsie. All right. All right. There we go. We're good. We're good. So let's see. So I could actually try to sleep up here if I wanted to right now. Um... Let's go get some food. Let's go get some food first. Make sure that we're not going to starve to death. I'm going to grab some fruits and veggies and probably grab a couple of cucumbers because that would probably be pretty smart. Let's grab you. All right, you got protein. You see everything there. Carbs is going to come up a little bit. And oops. You gotta get you watered you back in there get you back in there too all right everything looking okay so we need carbs fats and proteins let's grab you put you back in there and try eating that let's that's looking good and let's grab a potato I love potatoes man they're just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's close that door. And let's put this up here. Because I don't want you to go bad. Let's see, I think these are, yeah, less time on those. Uh, let's get a little bit of water. What did I get? I grabbed, I grabbed a couple cucumbers. And I grabbed some bandages. We got bandages, plus that Bambi was so nice to bring us one. And get ourselves a little bit more water. And I think... I think I want... Yeah, that's what I think we're going to do. All right, we're gonna grab this and take it up there with us. Gonna have a little extra light. Oh wait, wait a second, what am I talking about? I'm gonna have a light on my helmet. Yeah, my helmet, my helmet has the light. I have the yellow, yellow helmet on. All right, so I would like to bring some animals over here. Um, as long as it's not the fox, because the fox is like not worth the time. I see something walking over there. That's a deer. Yeah, I would like to test this against a bear or against a wolf. Um, my guess is it's going to be similar experience where they'll attack the base. They can't get us up here, but they'll attack the base. But if I'm able to inch up to it the right way, they'll, they'll freeze and they won't be able to attack us. Again, that's a huge risk. Because when you have vambies, when you have like many, when you have like a dozen or so vambies during a vambie swarm, or like if you're 
I don't know, if you build your base by where the crocodiles are for, for whatever reason, um, you know, you got to be careful because if you get to that edge and they get a, they get to hit you, you're, you're going to be on the ground fighting. And if you're not prepared, then that's going to be pretty bad. So let's just do this. Okay. Let's get those lights on. Let's wait for our buddies to come on over, see what happens. Usually it takes them a couple minutes to show up. Where are you guys? Where are you? Come out, come out wherever you are. Alright, he's coming from over here. Okay. All right, we got him. He's froze. He's not doing. Oh, what were there two of them? <laughs> Maybe there were two of them. They were like running as one. Oh, oh, oh! We got three. We got three. We got three vambies. I think, I think this is the max I'm gonna have tonight. I I think that this might be like my third my second or my third blood moon so i don't think we're going to get any more than what we see here oh here we go here we go another contestant there we go as you see they're kind of kind of frozen but man if you do this wrong they knock you off you are now fighting four of them running for your life trying to kite them I mean, man, and if you've got a bow and arrow, that's going to break pretty fast unless you get all headshots. So, so as you see, I mean, I have the ability to be up here kind of safe. And let's go back. Okay. Okay, got, a, got an arrow on you. Arrow on you. And you're, you're just moving around. Come on. Stand still. Okay, he didn't get you. Get you. All right, you keep moving. All right, you're just going over here. Uh, come on over here. Come on over here. Oh, let's get you in here. Okay. All right. That went okay. Yep. Oh, the foundation. Look at that damage. I had four of them. And look at how close we are to being on our on our butts, fighting hand in hand. So yeah, if this is a concrete foundation, it's going to hold up a little bit better. I mean, it'll last longer. And if I have a bunch of these, if I have like a row of these, like 10 or so of these, then I would just kite back and forth. I would move back and forth like this, going along the fence, all the way along, I mean all the way along the bridge the foundation and that would uh make it a lot easier to prevent that issue i think that was that it i thought he hit him with more than just yeah i did where are you okay yeah i think i put three in him so yeah wow that took a lot of damage so again with the fence you're trying to shoot them poke them through the fence it's such a pain but if you build a wall like this and yeah four of them they were doing lots of damage to this if you build like 10 of them a big long you know a wall's worth of them then you just kite back and you just keep walking and keep walking keep them moving keep them sh keep shooting at them and you're going to, you're going to get them you're going to take them down because um you know just because it's so much easier 
and of course you don't want to put railings here if you put railings along the side we are expecting to fight you won't be able to shoot them all right so we still got uh we still got some action going on one of our gates must have vambies all right this gate doesn't have vambies all right oh whoa 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 <laughs> I mean I can make another bed it's not that big of a deal but I don't want to forget it yeah the van be somewhere we got we gotta go we gotta figure out where these guys are okay before we end before we end the video let's go find the van bees. where are you I can't hear anything. I can't. Can you? Can you? Can you? Ah! Ah, oh, we missed him. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I did that on purpose. I'm, I'm not nice. Where'd that arrow go to, man? I'm going to have to make another one. Oh, it's still red. It's still red. You know what we got? We got to go find them. Got to go find them. Where are the Vambies? Which gate are they behind? You know, there could be Vambies at every gate that are not part of the Blood Moon. We got to get more light. We got to figure out a way to get more light. Oh, what's here? What's here? Anyone want to guess? Are they here? Are they here? Oh, yes. Yep, I already heard them. It's kind of interesting. Maybe, you know, this, this gate went in backwards. But thinking about that, that kind of pushed him back. You know, it gave me a little bit of time once I opened up the, the gate to see if he's there. Okay. You know, it might be over. I think the blood moon is over. I think we can go to bed. But, you know, we still got to make sure. Got to make sure. Got to make sure that there's nothing here. I hear a bear. And a sheep. Alright. I don't want to deal with the bear. All right, so that'll probably be it for this video. So anyway, all I wanted to do, I, I'm not doing any building today. I'm just testing, just testing, just theory crafting. You know, I'm getting the noodle going and trying to figure out what do I want to do about fighting off Vambi swarms. Because where, okay, where I am right now, I'm far enough. I'm far enough from the fences that the Vambies and predators in the game aren't going to know I'm here and they won't attack they won't assail the fence they won't attack it so I'll be okay no Vambies in here right no no Vambies in here that'd be a trip that would be a total trip if Vambies could just spawn inside of our bases I'm sure that the developers probably thought about it for like 10 seconds and then decide you know people would riot if if he did that to us <laughs> people would be like nope I'm not I'm uninstalling your game how close is he is he inside sounds like he's inside well anyway that's all I wanted to do I wanted to test it out I want to see what I can do with it I wanted to push it I have ideas. I'm just, I'm not sure where I'm going to go. You know, we built the battlements on the north gate. Bring it, buddy. Yeah, I thought you were somewhere in here. I don't know. He he just spawned inside. I mean, where wherever he was, we were over in that area. If he was over there, he.
he would have totally have aggroed on us. We would have known that we had a bear and it wouldn't be like this where it's like, hmm, that bear sounds like he might be in my compound. Yep, he is. He was. And now he, he isn't anymore. All right. Anyway. So, just things. Thinking about things, about what I want to do next. What interesting things do I think I can do? Oh, God. <laughs> I just leave that open. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so that'll be it for this video, you guys. Thanks a bunch for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, get alerts when I come out with new videos. I come out with new videos every single day. And as always, comment. I do read your comments, get back to you when it's relevant. You guys have great ideas. So um, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, dudes.